Hello. Uh, for this discussion, I want it to be tangentially related to the lecture five response. Uh, this is building off the ideas of relative moralism uh, and which, you know, looking uh, upon good and evil from different perspectives, uh, the, the slavish way and the noble or master way. Um, I thought this idea was really interesting and haven't really thought about it or explored it before. So I want to do so here. Uh, Nietzsche uh, talks about the shift in, uh, in the Jewish ressentiment uh, and what it produced. Uh, you know, it's about dragging the powerful down to the slavish level um, and not exactly going past them and becoming the masters, but just dragging everyone down to their level. Uh, and I want to know if this degradation into the weakness uh, that Nietzsche calls the Slav morality, uh, if it could predict or has already predicted the Western society's collapse in on itself. I think that Nietzsche would argue that it, it would be, uh, that this is the case. Um, I can't speak for him, but I feel like this is what he would say based on his arguments. However, I would disagree uh, not entirely, uh, only slightly. I don't think it signals the collapse of Western societies, uh, but rather it signals the ever-growing gap between the nobles and the slaves, you know, air quotes, uh, creating a weaker, more, manip more manipulated people. Uh, because even though we're dragging people down, there will always be people on, on top who do have that power, who are the masters, Otherwise, we wouldn't have structure um, in our society. I feel like it would just become a um, tribal, uh, no, yeah, it's non-structured um, mess per se. Uh, so let me know what you think of this thought. Uh, any, any arguments you have against this idea? I'd love to hear them. Uh, thank you.